welcome readers of this uh, NPTEL MOOC module on Health Economics. As we know that uh, this week is uh, meant for guiding you how you can go for different data packages. In this uh, lecture, we are uh, clarifying you uh, the packages, those are open source on health data or the health data handling packages, those are open source. So, largely some of the sources of the data all are written but all are here not open source. We are actually going to discuss this okay, in this lecture on this R and also DIP. Okay, the, the, this, uh, these three will be emphasizing in this lecture. So, uh, in the last lecture we have uh, explained you uh, what is linear regression or different econometric modeling including especially in healthcare research such as linear regression, non-linear regression and um, we briefly uh, describe the research design uh, including randomized control trial, quasi and uh, natural experiment and also different estimation methods. Here we will be um, discussing on type of data processing software that can be used in uh, health economic analysis and we will also introduce use with uh, Python and, and R as well as uh, you know um, re-emphasize the discussion we did on DEEP. Okay. So DEEP we, we did it already but we will just remind you that you please follow again. That is also a open source software. Uh, we will give you very step by step you know operations where you can easily uh, understand and at least start uh, working with the very basics using Python and R. And I, I am sure that you might have heard these studios and these um, softwares. These are largely used by scholars and uh, especially in, in corporate uh, uh, research they take the help of these tools. Software um, available for data processing are um, largely on SAS, you know, uh, then JMP version of SAS, SS, then SPSS as for of IBM, and another one is called Stata. But these are all paid uh, versions. Uh, the last three we are actually going to discuss, but the deep data environment analysis package is. Um, we have already discussed in the previous unit that is uh, in number 10. Okay, so, but uh, if you compare all these together on the basis of learning curve, user interface, data manipulation, data analysis, graphics and the cost effectiveness, we have special advantage of these are is that these are free software, these three are Python and DIP. Otherwise, I mean in all categories you will see that these three are very strong so far as their data manipulation and analysis is concerned and um, especially R is very strong and Python and uh, Div uh, strong so far as data manipulation is concerned and um, graphics are in R they are excellent. So, R is largely suggested in, in almost all uh, directions. So, I think I am not explaining here on deep. I will start here first with Python, then we will explain R. Python is a self interpreted, you know, object oriented high level programming language with dynamic, uh, you know, semantics. Then um, the basic syntax is also print, uh, okay. So, uh, where the common data uh, type is required, that is a data type. Uh, is a means of classifying a value and determining what operations can be performed. All objects have a data type. So, how it looks like? The data type looks like here it, it considers its uh, boolean values, then uh, integer values as int, floating point number, and then list, tuple, st string characters, you know, set, you know, frozen set, and dict. Dick basically associated with mapping as a dictionary. So, you will just I will tell you and there are operators as, as well. Operators are more uh, large in the symbols 
uh, used to carry out uh, specific functions and computations. So, operators were just highlighted here for your reference. Now, how to install Python and where to get it? Okay. This lecture will be very useful for the one who is just starting and hearing about this and going to start the basic data analysis. So, here if you search in Google on Python install, it will give you the, um, uh, the direction On the first one that is, uh, okay. so uh, first one it has the link and then you can click on that one and uh, here we have just highlighted on the second step what you need to do, you need to download this link and to open and then it directs for the window to download the latest version and the latest version is here and uh, especially for uh, either windows or for uh, for uh, no you have to just mark carefully we are uh, if you uh, you require for window then click on window if you require for the operating system like macbook or mac mac or linux etc and you have to install the separate one okay then this version is with us now 3.12.164 bit and uh, install instruction is there just click on and but make sure that you have uh, marked as the admin you know check mark both of these admin and uh, add python dot exe as path or to path okay then you just install it and uh, once uh, this is made uh, you will see this is uh, the one app and uh, in the in your screen you can just search this is um, ideally okay. and uh, it will display you with the required uh, uh, with the one which we are working uh, for the data. You simply once it is displayed like this you click on and then open and uh, the window uh, will look like this starting with it has a menu bar okay we are just highlighting which are the menu bar then uh, you know you if you want a new file then new you uh, know window will open okay then it will give you another new window in that window you will see it has two toolbars okay and um, the results however the results you know um, details are actually displayed just to the you know, to the right and uh, on this new window we will see next to the tool uh, bar you will see you know the command window Okay. And in the command window, uh, you we are supposed to write the syntax. Okay, like you know, uh, syntax uh, here. For example, syntax print. Then, like you know, uh, then if you press uh, F5 uh, to save and run your program. So, for example, print print three plus one equal to you know four. So it is just displayed as the result on the right hand side as four. We have just highlighted here. Um, then you need to also save and also run the program. So like uh, you know Python, uh, we have just given you the very basics of Python. Uh, similarly, like Python, R is also you know an open source software, and the process of downloading is given below. You can follow these steps. Okay, so now download R for Linux, then R for Mac or Windows. All options are given. So, you can uh, click on the respective one and uh, what you are supposed to download the R from this website cran.r project. Okay, then you install uh, the R studio then um, which is downloaded from that and, uh, and especially you have to install if you are actually working with uh, desktop window then uh, you have to install this download and install. R studio is an you know integrated development environment for R, a programming language for statistical computing and graphics. You can run the R on R studio with each other ID you know uh, available for R like you know Jupyter, Notebook, Visual Studio uh, Code, uh, Emacs and ESS etc. Those are the advanced users they used to go for it. It usually displays four windows simultaneously. Okay, so you can uh, work when you open R Studio. You will see four panes. 
uh, each uh, with uh, multiple tabs and the upper left the, the, the top one uh, is a script you know file the right uh, the upper right is actually the environment file that is this will uh, list any objects you create and the lower left is the console this is where you type the R code to run and the lower, lower uh, right is actually the plots and this is where graphics you create which will appear okay. Now, if you want to you know work with uh, you know the some databases of course, databases are required. So, how to import the database? So, uh, in, in environment pane, so then, then this is how we are just highlighting the environment pane okay. and um, then you browse your data, browse option is there, browse your folder where you have might have stored your data and you simply click on import. Once you import your data is imported to R and this is how it looks like. Okay, you import it, uh, then then import bottom is there and then your data will be imported. Now you can download packages from your uh, data analysis. Now click on packages in the fourth pane in the lower right which already discussed and click on the install. Then you type uh, you know uh, the name in space provided as shown okay, where you have the you know data etc. Then accordingly uh -huh, there are some packages which we have just discussed. So extra packages uh, for the better analysis uh, if you go through you will be guided. You can explore task views in CRAN website as well which we have just highlighted here. Uh, you will need for a particular task for example uh, maybe econometrics, causal inference etc. Okay, so you may track uh, from there. Okay, so this is all the list of topics are given, so you can follow it accordingly. So what is uh, in the uh, next lecture to be discussed? The next lecture will be on the licensed uh, packages, data handling packages. Especially, we'll be emphasizing on the health data, uh, and. Uh, and you can follow our lecture for interesting aspects. So, we will clarify very step by step using the license versions, maybe Stata, SPSS. Okay, so, here is the uh, suggested uh, sources for your reading and you can follow um, this for the details. So, thank you. I think I should stop here.